and welcome to Healthy Minds, a show where we talk about mental health issues. My name is Phyllis Strickland, my husband Juan Edward Strickland, and today we're going to talk about um, what happens with when families have catastrophic illnesses. What happens to the, fam the dynamics within the family? Well, about six, seven years ago, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer and uh, it was very traumatic for me emotionally. It was six months before my daughter was to get married. And my thinking was, how can this time be about me? It's supposed to be about her. Also dealing with the, the mental illness uh, issues with my son. And I found myself dealing with a lot of stress. Yes. And of course, de denial, like any illness, how can this be? I'm healthy. I remember you were eating well, you were exercising. And like you said, we had these other issues that were going on. And I think that's a point to make that life goes on even though family members have medical or mental health issues. And how do you cope with that stress? And in, in terms of denial, you're right, because um, I had an elevated PSA and I was in denial that my number would be elevated. So I had two more blood tests to try to deny that my PSA was elevated. It kept saying it was elevated. So I had to deal with the reality of the diagnosis of cancer. And uh, I found myself really struggling with it because you know, no red meat for 40 years, no alcohol for 40 years, no smoking for 40 years. How could I have cancer? Yes. But again, it's a note in my case, you know, no fault illness. Uh, there is a genetic component to it. And uh, it was a very difficult thing for me to overcome. Um, there was a time when I felt a little depressed. And uh, that was only for a short period of time, but I had a lot of, a lot of support. And others with, um, who might have um, prostate um, cancer or type of cancer, they do, they might have more uh, depression depending on the type of treatments that they receive. I understand mm -hmm. some treatments are chemical in nature, so not only are they struggling with a medical disease, but they're dealing with um, depression, and it, and, and it affects their recovery. Yeah, I had the benefit of qualifying for a proton treatment at Loma Linda University Medical Center, 45 treatments over nine weeks, and I can tell you that um, seven years later, you know, I'm cancer-free. It's, it's in remission. <laughs> all the way. My PSA is the lowest it's ever been. I feel great. And uh, I was, you know, was fortunate enough to come through that whole process without um, any additional damage. Um, but I, I think one of the hard, uh, uh, one of the hard parts was um, being, for me, supporting my husband, um, trying to help my daughter with the wedding plans and be up for her. And we were dealing with my son who has mental illness. And how is he going to respond to the additional stress in the household? And one of the things that happened when we had family come in from out of town, we were so cognizant of where is he, where is he going to sleep, how is he going to be, and is he going to be okay? So all these factors were playing together at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it took a lot of prayer, a lot of support of other people um, to get us through this time. And as you can imagine, when one family member is affected, the one with the illness, all family members are affected. My wife was affected, my daughter, my son. Maybe they didn't speak about it much, um, but the family dynamics change whenever there is a catastrophic illness, biological or otherwise. 